Hey there and welcome, I'm Exterminator and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to go over 8 new features and tips and tricks in Bacteria 016 that you may not know about. So we're going to start with a very simple one uh, that you can now quick replace medium and small power poles over each other. Uh, so if I, I have some medium power poles here, if I just simply click on top of these small ones, it will quick replace over them. Uh, previously you were not able to do this. You'd have to tear up the old one and then place the new one. Um, but it works in both directions and really, really nice. Uh, next thing is the underground belt trick to compress a belt no longer works. Uh, previously, before this update, uh, if you insert it onto an underground belt, like in these smelting setups on the last couple, or even the whole thing if you wanted, uh, it would allow you to get a fully compressed belt. Um, and this is how people got fully compressed belts usually out of their smelting arrays. But in 016, this no longer works due to some belt changes and optimizations. You can see here, we're trying to export onto these undergrounds, uh, but these guys won't export even though there are gaps. Uh, so very, uh, very good thing worth noting because uh, you may have to change some things around or do things a bit differently to actually get fully compressed lines now. Uh, next thing is increased zoom uh, via the debug menu. So if we go into the debug menu in, by hitting F4, uh, you can either find the option in here or if we search for zoom, uh, there's a search box up here, and then check this. This allows you to zoom in uh, way farther than you normally would be able to. So I can now zoom all the way in to this level and pretty much just get a super magnified view of whatever. Uh, I'm not sure when this would necessarily be used, but um, it's uh, it's quite nice to know that it's there for sure. So just a quick cool thing you can do with that. Uh, next up is the infinity chest. This is a new chest they added uh, that you can get via a command much like the electrical energy interface they added in 015 that you could get with the command. If you put in this command here, and I, not this command, uh, I've, there we go, this guy, I will put this in the description, uh, C game.player.insert uh, and then quotations infinity chest. Um, this gives you 10 infinity chests. You can see here we just got 10 new, new ones and uh, you place this guy down and if you're an admin, this is a quick note, you have to be an admin in your game to be able to do this. If you have started in a single player or, and are only a single player, you should be able to. But if it's a multiplayer game, um, then you'll have to be an admin to actually use it. Uh, but if we go in here, and I am an admin, you can now go in here and pretty much have it spawn items. This is essentially a spawning chest. So we'll just have it spawn uh, red circuits, right? And you can say at least, so keep at least as many items in inventory. Essentially, this will just infinitely keep 200 in here, even if you grab from it um, at most. So remove extras. Uh, so this would be like kind of a void chest, right? If I want to put into it, I would check the at most and it wouldn't let it get above that. It would never fill up or exactly keep exactly this amount. So just to uh, demonstrate, I'm going to use two of them here and we're going to use some stack inserters just because they're faster. Um, and we're going to do that. And then this guy we're going to grab from here. And we're going to say this and that. And then we'll just say no more than six. And at least uh, 200 is, is what it's set at currently. And there you go. So this is essentially is acting as a void chest. And this is acting as a spawning chest. Um, now also to demonstrate, the next thing is now when you drop items manually on a belt by hitting Z, uh, it no longer spills over um, when the belt's full. So you can see here, I'm hitting Z and I'm mousing over this section. Normally, it would kind of just spill everywhere um, before 016 when this was the case. But now, and I can show you on this side too, um, now when the belt's full, it won't spill like all over the belt, which is really nice. Uh, you can now open electric poles and power switches like the uh, electric net network info anywhere on the map through the map view. So if I zoom in over here to our power setup, I can now click here um, through the map view and open up these power poles. Same goes for power switches, which is really nice. Now up to these guys. Uh, copy pasting from an assembler to a requester chest now scales with the assembler speed and the craft time of the item. Uh, so if you shift right click to copy and then shift left click to paste, um, you get an amount copied here that is kind of based on you know the assembler speed and the craft time of the item. So you can see here we're getting 90 iron plate and 270 copper cable requested. However, if I do it to this one, we're getting uh, far less. We're actually getting half that uh, because this speed is exactly doubled, right? 100% increase. So it's now it scales now with the speed of your machines and what's being crafted in here, which is really cool. 
Uh, really, really nice addition there. After that, we have uh, tanks no longer take damage from trees. So I have a tank down here next to a forest. And uh, previously, when you would drive through a forest, your tank would take like minuscule amounts of damage and your bots would always get out and, and try to repair it. Now we just don't take damage at all, which is really nice uh, because your bots won't constantly be spazzing out to repair it. So really good thing to know there as well. Uh, and then lastly, and this is just a whole bunch together, I crammed these all as a as one tip or feature because otherwise it would be like 20. Um, lots of changes to craft times in the game that weren't actually specified specifically in the change log. So I have a notepad I'm gonna drag over here. Uh, it has some of my notes in it, but also the craft times. Uh, and we can see here are all these changes. So the craft time um, for car has been increased from 0.5 seconds to two. Cargo wagon from half a second to one, explosives from one to two, express underground belt uh, and express uh, underground, wait, oh, fast underground belt, um, both increased from half a second to two seconds, heat exchanger increased from 3.5 seconds to three seconds, heat pipe from 0.5 to one, lab craft time reduced from three to two, locomotive time from 0.5 to four, which is pretty significant, a reactor from four to eight, so doubled the craft time of that. Oil refinery from 10 seconds to eight seconds, which is nice because that took quite a long time. Robot port from 10 seconds to five. Satellite um, increased from three to five. And then steam engine from half a second to three seconds and tank craft time from half a second to five seconds. So if I make a tank, I think this actually won't work because I'm, it won't work because I'm in a uh, cheat mode. Uh, but if I just really quickly pull up my command to do this and I just say false uh, and we now try to make something that was changed how about like a steam engine this guy uh, will take quite a bit longer to make than uh, than it previously would have I believe so there you go that's the changes I hope this was helpful and you learned something from it uh, leave any thoughts or comments down below if you have any other ideas for things to cover like this uh, definitely let me know if you did enjoy feel free to leave a like and until next time I look forward to seeing you all and do take care